Hi everyone, it's Niven, and today I am making CopperCube 6 tutorial video. CopperCube 6 is a game engine which is available for free to download, link is in the description. Today I will be talking about one of the requested tutorials which is first person camera setup but with an advanced running. Most games have that mechanic. This might be horror, this might be action, this might be shooter, adventure, where you just walk and then you press shift and then you run. This is a prefab which was not made by me. I do not own this, but it was distributed for free by a person called Zero and I will be giving the link to his YouTube channel in the description. They don't have the prefab or they're not explaining the prefab unfortunately, but they gave me uh, access to this prefab for free. Also, I forgot to mention in my previous tutorials that I will be leaving the link to the Discord server where you can find everything about CopperCube and you can join the community. Now let's import the prefab and then I will explain how to use that prefab. The link for this prefab will be down in the description. You can download it and you can open it by pressing file, open, and then you choose the extracted file which you downloaded. Now this is a camera as you can see. Uh, this is the what we call the box, the watch box. And now let's create a simple terrain. As you know, we click OK and by default it creates this terrain. Now, don't forget, we must make this camera to be above the ground like this and this watch box should corresponds to the level of the camera like this it's close so now if we if we press test pop this is how the test looks like now you can see it's a generic default camera but now i will press shift and it runs it runs faster and it has an animation now we have this prefab, which once again was not made by me, but we can modify it by using simple tools which are available in CopperCube. As we go to the properties, we have materials and we have behavior. Now, as you can see, there are many behaviors in here, which we will go carefully one by one. So the first one is a first person shooter style control, which is default for every copper cube camera first person camera now we change the speed to 0.5 uh, we have rotation we have uh, vertical angle I'd like to keep it 80 uh, jump speed let's be 2 rotation speed I also like to change that to 250 and uh, smooth moving and let's put uh, uh, 250 here too now we pre press OK, and as you can see, it's slowly walking in the forest, and as we press Shift, it's running. Now, how does this shift work? There is a special behavior which is called when a key is pressed to do something. So when Shift key is pressed down, there is an action and this action is to change a variable now in this case as I said this is a pre-made prefab so you don't have to worry about how those variables work yet but I will be making a separate tutorial about variables but for now just stick with this so we have variable name which is movement speed we have it set equal to the value of 0 0.2 now we can make this 0 point one and click OK. Now we have another key which is when a key is pressed to do something and that's about when key is left up which means if you press shift it's gonna run and if you lift that key up what it's gonna do it's gonna set value back 
to 0.1 but we don't have 0.1 speed because just for the reference when you go to the first behavior you see our movement speed is 0.05 so on the third behavior let me make this bigger so you can see so on the third behavior you set this to 0.5 always remember you can set this value to anything you want this can be one and he will run really fast this can be like very slow but what matters is that when the key is left up you should have the exact value as it is for the movement right here now if we once again go here and press test you can see normal speed and we run now it runs faster and normal speed now it runs faster normal speed as always I like to keep my speed uh, about 0 0.05 but we can change this right we can change this to 0 0.5 for example and now it will go way faster as you can see now we press shift oh this is this is like some uh, you know flash Superman stuff you can actually make a flash game like a superhero flash game uh, Using this mechanic like you can have a person walk really slow and then you press shift and then they run like crazy You know this this is actually pretty fun to make for those who enjoy comic book Heroes and stuff now. We have two more uh, um additional behaviors but we don't need those now what do these correspond to as you can see uh, this is the right mouse button and it executes a Java script which we don't need we can delete those now how you delete the behavior I will be talking about behaviors in the next tutorials but right now we just click on minus and minus and for the first person setup camera with using shift as running you will be needing all three of those well this is collide when moved which is important because if we don't have this the camera will fly into the space like like Superman I'm talking too much about superheroes huh anyways uh, this is it this is how it works let's get back to a regular speed which will be 0.2 and that works now you can easily use this camera setup and uh, make your own game with a character who can run like this and he will run he will just use shift as sprint once again I would like to modify some of things which I mentioned in the first camera uh, setup so this is uh, this one the size relative position will be 12 and uh, the size will be 4 and this will be 4 too and as you can see right now don't forget always remember this part this part it should not be touching the ground below it should be just above the ground always remember that and now here is what we have right here this is an improved yup this looks much more realistic and we press shift and it runs once again this is it thanks everyone for watching this was tutorial for sprinting once again thanks everyone for watching I do really appreciate your support with this tutorials and uh, if you have any questions please feel free to ask once again, thanks everyone and have an amazing day.